Are there any Finmore and Transact card updates? What is going on with this multi-level marketing pyramid scheme that's Finmore that used to be called Transact card and now is promising an orange card? Just like previous iterations of this company that started with Rev card that was supposed to have the Bluetooth speaker in it, never came to be, and then Transact card, the green card, never came to be. Now, Finmore. <laughs> but just wait, you gotta be patient, just like those two other companies, it was everybody else's fault, not the company's fault. You have to have faith. We're in it for the long haul. This is entrepreneurship. Do you think if people had have got in at the beginning of Google or Amazon and just left when it got hard, you know how much they regret that decision? Don't be like them. Stay in Finmore. So I decided to infiltrate the Facebook Finmore community group today. And I got in no problem. I didn't use an alternate account. I just entered no problem. <laughs> and I want to show you this because this is the most recent shenanigans that's going on in this group. So somebody has posted this. It says, OMG, wow. And it shows finmore.com, um, the amount of fin credits this person has, 2,514 and 46. So they're supposed, nobody actually has this orange card. There's not a physical product. <laughs> Imagine they're not being a physical product in this particular pyramid scheme. But it's unnecessary. You don't really need to have it. <laughs> because you can register all of the cards that you have in your wallet and pay. Finmore, you can pay, you can give them all this, this multi-level marketing pyramid scheme that just started February the 1st. <laughs> give them all your information pay them per month to then get the right to earn fin credit rewards which then you can cash in at a fin store which still doesn't exist <laughs> but it's looking promising it's looking good peter is looking good and john is not looking that stressed out he's doing better <laughs> lots of thumbs up there so this just it's their like back office somebody is just logged in and they're just showing this like it's so impressive and People are really excited about this, but this is what it's like when you're in a commercial cult. So somebody, there is nothing going on with Finmore. So when somebody posts anything in this group that is just like, we exist, like, look, there's nothing going on, but like, look how it's shaping up. Like people are like, oh, wow, like this is really good. But some aren't. Some people are not happy. So this was posted 20 hours ago. Today is March the 13th, 2024. So this was posted yesterday, March 12th. Quick note, I'm editing this video and the screenshots that I'm going to show you, they are a lengthy conversation. And in order to show you each person communicating with another person, I've attributed a color to each person within the comment section for each slide. So the conversation is quite lengthy. Um, if somebody is given a purple color in one slide, it might they might be given a red color in the other. But within that conversation that you're going to see on the screen, as they're responding to people, that will be their color. Just a heads up. So I hope that makes it a little bit more easy to follow for you. So this person says, what is it? And the author of the post said, I just use my card and my reward just raised up. I like that that person was like, well, what is this? <laughs> And then they replied, well, I haven't got a card yet. And the author says, I just use my debit card because their debit card is enrolled. They've given that information to this multi-level marketing pyramid scheme to accrue these points, which they can redeem at some point, maybe in a store. And it, uh, the other person says, any card in your wallet with the all cards. And then this next person says, is it worth it? to switch over. Yes, but I need to be patient. And then someone else says, yes. This person says, yes, it's worth it. I've received just over 4,000 FIN credits and have about 5,000 more coming that I'm waiting to show on my report. So keep in mind, people are just talking about paying this multi-level marketing pyramid scheme monthly fees they have to pay to be, be a business a pretend business owner and they're getting really excited about getting credits that can only be redeemed in this store that doesn't exist 
They're not even, they're not even getting paid. These people aren't even excited. This whole thing is just about like, oh my goodness, look at, I'm doing this and I'm getting this for free. And they're going to buy what? Like that transact card, that Z club store was ridiculous. They had this rope chain necklace. They had people, they'd have flash sales. If you, you know, the lore of transact card that people couldn't even get into. I went like digging deeper into this group. It'll be for another piece of content. People had to win. It was like a lottery to even like win, to be able to shop at the flash sale. That was transact card. It's important to look at the past in order to see more clearly what the future holds, you know? I am just learning it right now using all cards. We received two fin credits for every dollar we spend until the debit cards get here. Then the debit card will give you two fin credits till next year. I wonder when that card's going to arrive. And how, when did it arrive for transact card? It never arrived. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm still waiting. No fin credits with my credit cards. Same here. Still no credits from purchases from two different cards over several weeks ago. I did, however, get a response from support today, which is a first, saying they are working on it. And people will interpret this as like, oh, you're looking at the positive. Good for you. So they're basically getting screwed by Finmore. And if they say it, this is skating on thin ice when you're in a commercial cult. Because you have to say, well, I'm not getting any credits from two different cards over several weeks ago. How hard is this? This company is dying. People are watching anti-MLM content and they're waking up. They're talking with other participants who have left. And they're like, I need to get my money back. I need to get the hell out of this thing. And they still have to be like, however, I did get a call from support. A response to be grateful from hearing back from customer service. And it's a first and they and the only response is like they're working on it oh they're working on it all right they're not working on it people are going to lose even more money just like transact card just like rev card oh that's good look at that that's what the person says oh but that's good like what is good no credits from purchases over two different cards and the thing that they celebrate when you're in a cult is like oh but support you have to be positive support responded to me saying they're working on it like they're just preying on these people's hopes you know and their belief that they're in something good oh, look at me too it's been a month this doesn't even count how many people are in this group there's over eighteen thousand people in this group <laughs> including baby doll and how many of them are too afraid to write in this like how many other people in this are too afraid to just let others know that this has happened to them as well. Glad we're not all alone then. Do support ticket. Did you check the fin credit ledger? Not the ledger, but the amount that shows when opening the hamburger menu, I'll check now. And if you don't know what a hamburger menu is, I'm like, I did never knew what this is. It's usually in the upper right hand corner and it has those three horizontal, I didn't think it was like horizontal, vertical, vertical horizontal lines and then you click on that and then it's like a menu that opens up so then that's what they're talking that's a hamburger menu <laughs> it's okay if you don't know things you know we all learn things together here on the internet no nothing there yet same here i've lost out on thousands of credits don't know what the issue is well i know what the issue is you are in a scam and you are being defrauded because that's what multi-level marketing pyramid schemes do they can't even deliver on the most basic thing here. There was no need. What was the point of them rushing to get out of transact card when they can't even get their shit together in this new company? Why are all these people? I wonder how many of them. Is it just like a, a small representation of the people that have the courage to post in this group? Because you know what it's like. This is considered negativity. When you're in a commercial cult, who you don't do that. How many people have aren't getting their credits and none of them are saying anything because they just trust that what? It's just going to all be right? It's not going to be all right. You're not even keeping track of your income and your expenses. You're not going to be keeping track of your credits. Most people won't. Finmore certainly isn't. The support? Who's the support? They're probably hemorrhaging employees too. Nobody wants to be affiliated with this joke of a company sketchy as fuck 
I have one card at moment for all my payments. I'm surprised my fin credit is now above 20,000 K. 20,000 points that you can you can't cash this out as money, I don't think. You have to wait for this store. So you don't have anything. These are just random numbers that are on a screen that people are talking about. Isn't this wild? People aren't even talking about the money that they're making. Just the fin credits that they're earning on using their credit cards that they can one day redeem in this fin store. This is heartbreaking. You know, there's there's so many people that are just trying to make get some extra money, just work. You know, they want to work and they they're preyed upon by companies like this. And they're distracted from seeing what they're a part of by this nonsense, you know, and this fin credits. First it's Z Bucks, now it's fin credits, you know. I have no issues. Oh, wait, so I only moved 7k of my z bucks over to fin credits i have no issues hope everyone gets their issues fixed soon but have you redeemed your fin credits it's not a legitimate good business when most people that are talking in this comment section are having issues how are you going to be bringing people into this this is it should be working who in their right mind is going to join this thing, you know? What do you get with the fin credits? Redeem them in the fin store to get discounts of up to 80%. Keep in mind this fin store isn't even open yet. Of up to 80%. They're just parroting what they've been told by the company. Maybe by the like the not as stressed out John McKillop as much. If you've seen my other video, he likes to do like really creepy shit in the background. He took a picture of Melon's um the the orange laced clouds in the sky and like put it as his background it was so weird and it's supposed to be orange is like it's so powerful you know orange is orange is the sign that you're on the right track to financial freedom even if you look in the sky and you see orange it's a sign from god i'm saying that sarcastically but people believe this they look at it as a sign everything people are wearing orange shirts they're like, orange is such a much more amazing color than green. I know what this sounds like. You can look up this up on Facebook and see, just type in transact card Finmore or just Finmore and just go through the past month and a half. It's heartbreaking to see how people are manipulated, you know, think, looking at these, wherever they see a color, it's like a, it's a sign that they're in the right place at the right time, you know. All right. So then uh, you're going to be getting up to 80% off stuff, right? Um, use them in the store when it opens. Use them for the redu for reduced travel. When it opens. If it opens. I can't wait to use it my trip to Disney World. If it opens, are you going to even be able to cash it in? This is sad, you know. Look, it's exciting. None of my purchases have shown any fin credits yet. We have been waiting for about three weeks and still no credits. Hope they come soon. This story has already been told by Transact Card. And shame on these owners, this John McKillop, this Eric Allen. I don't even know if these are the owners. Peter Rancy, Mellon, all of you that are taking advantage of thousands of good, hardworking people where you can do this nonsense to them. How in the world do you sleep at night? Taking, enrolling people into something called transact card, and then it's just now it's Finmore. Taking over their time by attending these useless Zoom trainings. Distracting them with these benefits from a Fin store that isn't even in existence yet. For people that are supposed to be at the top of the network marketing industry and have left all these different multi level marketing companies, you are doing a piss poor, laughable joke of a job with this sham of a company. You can't even launch a simple store for people to redeem their Fin credits in. You copied and pasted everything basically from rev card from to transact card. Why can't you just do the whole same thing from transact card to Finmore for all these good people? You've already taken over social impact banking. Transact card was saying the exact same thing. You like to use the word ecosystem quite frequently now as if this is something new. It, 
Transact card was saying the exact same thing. And people are just keep attending the Zoom call and just keep the faith. And we're going to like whip you up into this frenzy of community and hopes and promises. And then you can redeem and keep using those cards, you guys. Enroll more cards. Get another credit card and sign that up too. Give us all your information. And if we have a security data breach, just like allegedly what happened in Transact Card, we'll deny it. We won't even admit that it happened. How many people's social security numbers, their credit card numbers are just sold? Yeah, way to go. Way to go, everyone that's doing this company. Okay, and I'm not talking about the people that really believe this is a legitimate business opportunity. It's the people that know that it's a scam and they're doing it anyway. Those, those are the fuckers I'm talking to. Okay, none of my purchases have shown any FIN credits yet. Um, my bank doesn't show up. No credits for me. Your reward will show on the FINMORE under FIN credit ledger. Jeremy mentioned on the webinar that progress is being made concerning the problem with the FIN credit. So that was encouraging. Look at these people given empty, hollow promises. All they need, this is... This is the level of brainwashing in these commercial cults. You, you barely even need to do anything. We already know we do this self-policing. Like you've seen this in other pieces of anti-MLM content, not just mine, all, all different kinds of creators show this, where people just have to be positive, you, the term toxic positivity. But people aren't even getting what they're promised. And they're saying, Finally, for the first time, support responds to them and they say they're working on it. And then people like are clamoring, oh, that's so good. And then they're just told it's like their progress is being made. That's all they need to hear. Just keep giving us your money. Progress is being made. This is like a romance scam. People are in love with a future that's never going to happen. It's just some random person on the internet that's a scammer giving them a fake picture. It's like a fake picture of an orange card. Just keep giving us money every month. I just need more and more money. And it's never going to happen. Um, this person says something and I didn't um, translate it. So that's my bad. And then uh, this next person says, no all cards, fin credits, no 1099, no easy power card balance, refund, multiple tickets opened. No surprise. Yep, sounds about right. How many people are being screwed over and they're still so loyal? It takes a lot to wake someone up. And I hope um, if you're watching this and you're in Finmore, that maybe you weren't in Transact Card, maybe you're a brand new Finmore rep, that you start taking a look, a really hard, close look at what's going on. If this was happening in another company, you would say, that's a scam. Take out your ego. You know, this is what we're taught when we're in multi-level marketing. You need to get out of your own way, but it's used to keep you from looking at the truth. I know that you love the community. I know that you're a hard worker. I know that you're going all in. All of those things can be true. And that's what's being used against you. Your goodness, your hard work, your consistency, all of those good qualities, those are being used against you to keep you in. You know, that image of the, the horse or whatever it's like, or the elephant, it has the um, I mean, it could be a horse or an elephant. <laughs> Let's just go back to the first one, a, a horse. And it's got the, um, the rope just like loosely looped around a, a, a tree. And I'm, and I'm, it's like about if, when it was a little, you know, a little baby horse, it was like tied up and it couldn't leave. So then it's trained that even if it could leave at any time, it believes that it's can't because it's like tied to this tree just because it has this rope on it. That's what's going on right now with you. And it's so effective that even hearing me point out facts that you're saying, I'm going to be the problem. I'm the hater. Well, I'm not asking any money from you. Who is asking you to spend your time away from your family to abandon your critical thinking, to not to point out this is weird. If this was any other company, I can imagine this being on the news and being investigated as a huge stinking scam. That all these people aren't getting what they're promised. All of these people are getting non-committal answers. It's coming. Uh, no, we're working on it. And it's just like, no, you don't understand, Julie. No, I do understand because I was in multi-level marketing too. 
And this is how these things work. And I'm so sorry to say it, but you are being conned. And these people that are running these Zoom meetings, they know exactly what they're doing and they have no conscience. Please get out. Get out as soon as you can. All right. It keeps on linking my cards and I can't get them to link back. My bank doesn't show up to be able to link. I have missed out on $15,000 in fin credits because of this. And that makes me super sad, LOL. Because they can't even be angry. They're like, have to like pat it out with humor. It's like, it makes me super sad. They can't be negative. You have to be, take it in stride like a CEO. That's the frame of mind that we're in when we're in one of these things, you know? Is this an app? Is this part of giving control of your money over to a digital middleman that can tell you how to spend it? <laughs> Good question. And never got a response from that one. I just saw today, or I just today saw my transact credits transferred, but still no fin credits on my cards. And I have three cards plus hubby has one and nothing. Any suggestions from anyone? Why is it that a company that is saying that they're going to disrupt the banking industry doesn't even have a customer service department to actually respond to all this? Why are they relying? on some, I'm sorry to say this, but some pissant Facebook group. This is how scams run. This is not how legitimate companies run. This is not professional. They're, they're like, anybody, does anybody know? It's absurd that you can't just find out if you're, you're supposed to be this business owner, how in the world is this supposed to work? Just, just trust it, it's just on faith. Can you imagine? Frame this in that um, the storyline of a romance scammer. And now you're going to go out and recruit other people and say, no, just trust it. I know that you're not going to get any response from customer service, but we're a brand new company. There's always going to be an excuse, just like there was with Transact Card, just like there was with Rev Card. History is repeating itself. The people that are making money are doing it because of your losses and because of your belief that you can make this happen. And that your failure is your fault. They're pressing that knife right in between your ribs and turning it. And they don't give a fuck. They're choosing to do this. It's not that they don't know. They do know exactly what they're doing. That's what makes this so horrifying. All right. Take some time for things to hit your bank account or to hit your account, but you should see it eventually. I do check my connection with my bank periodically. I did go in one time and my bank disconnected it. So you just need to fill out your credentials again to reconnect. Really? And you don't think this is sketchy? How much time are you just investing on this shit? This should not be this difficult. But it is, all of this busy work is important in a commercial cult. Because the more time you spend on this, the less time you can just give your head a shake and being like, okay, wait a second here. If I got my ego out of the way, and I was just listening, looking at another company, just name it something else. And they're selling covers that you cover over your webcam. And that nobody ever has received one of these things. It's going to be the greatest thing. Just substitute it. Get yourself out of your own way and try to see this with you not as the starring main character in it. And that might be an angle to help you see this scam for what it is. Because once you start removing that emotion from it, you're gonna be able to think more clearly. You're being emotionally uh, manipulated right now. My battery's low. On my computer. You're being emotionally manipulated. You're not, you're being um, manipulated to believe that this is how business is run, that this is how entrepreneurship, this is your, you're a, you're a mark and a con. And I'm sad and I'm sorry for you. I hope you get out soon. I check it probably once a week. But if anything changes like one sentence in the bank's terms and conditions, it will disconnect and you will have to accept the terms and conditions of the bank before your bank will allow you to reconnect. Same idea when you log into your bank app and have to accept the changes before using the app. Hope this helps. Can you imagine? What is the point of this then? What, what are the things that you're supposed to cash in this fin store that doesn't even exist, that you have to do all this work, where you have to check with your bank once a week just on the off chance? I'm like, give me a break. 
Come on. Come on. You know better. And that's what I wanted to show you. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.